plastic is one of the biggest environmental threat that we're facing today. It's everywhere, from the phone in your hand to the device that you're watching this video. And there is a reason for it, because it's very easy to obtain, very easy to process, and it's, it functions very well. But there is a cost associated to this. This cost uh, has been ignored by consumers, by corporations, by government for the last 70, 80 years. And unfortunately, our oceans, our lands, and people health were paying for this cost. And this cost is associated with the end of the life of the plastic product. Uh, last year alone, about 14 million tons of plastic ended in the ocean. When these plastics enter the ocean, they don't buy the red. They break down to a small pieces called microplastics. These microplastics are toxic. They uh, entrap our ecosystems, enter to the food chains, kill the marine life, and as recently the study shows, it ends up in our bloodstream in human being. We have to stop this. Taking into account increasing demands for, for plastics, recycling in and of itself is not going to be the solution. As a society, we should be focusing on prevention and eliminating uh, single-use plastics from ever reaching the marketplace to begin with. We are at a choking point, and it doesn't have to be like that. At 3E Biotech, we promote an idea to make a compostable and biodegradable material that work with the current systems and therefore that we can adopt very quickly and get the get these products in the market without spending uh, so much investment or time in order to adopt. The differences between recycling and composting is with recycling, uh, the products are never removed uh, from the market. They are simply just reused. However, with uh, composting, uh, what we're doing is we are returning the products into their original elements uh, so that those can then be broken down and reused, whether it's planting for more trees or for corn or for starch. Uh, we're actually breaking those elements down and into, their, into their original molecules and then safely reusing them in, in, within inside of a market. Even though the cost of biodegradable products are right now more expensive, technological advances that we're making within inside of the composting industry, we expect to reach parity uh, sooner rather than later. One of the areas that we are putting a lot of uh, focus is to how to use agricultural waste and agricultural byproduct. And we are making uh, compounds and materials from this biomass. And we are very happy about it because they can perform very well and make uh, many biodegradable and compostable products. In this area, uh, we can um, compete with the plastic as far as the price concerned. We get rid of the agricultural waste that there is no use for it and also we can make products and packaging for the same industry. So it's a complete uh, circular economy again. So taking away the waste of the industry, create a package and product for it, and return it back to the same industry. I mean, really the accessible markets for us are any single-use plastic at all, whether it's uh, utensils within inside of a food court or uh, expendables that you're given on an airplane or movie theater waste, really any type of plastic that is only used once, uh, we offer a completely uh, sustainable solution to that market. So we are uh, focusing on the pharmaceutical industry, uh, the food packaging industries, and then also the hospitality industries. So we are able to, for example, uh, generate products that are created using spent coffee, and we are able to reintroduce those products into the market, whether it's a straw or, or a bowl, we're able to now uh, offer that product and packaging to the consumer and uh, fully have a contained economy. Your average festival uh, footprint will create up to 500,000 pounds of waste over the course of, of a single weekend. By leveraging compostable spent coffee, we can create a massive dent with inside of that footprint. At 3 Biotech, 
we are really pushing the boundaries when it comes to exploring different process applications that will be applicable for our customers and, and certain product needs and requirements. I think one of the biggest challenges is that the material is so new to the market. From a design perspective, it really requires a slightly different creative process that is entirely driven by the manufacturing process of this biomass material. Certification is what differentiates 3E Biotech from most of the industry. It validates the compostability of a product to the market. Certification is very important in our process. When we uh, produce the new compound, uh, we have to make sure it passed the compostability certification. Everything has to be certified to be compostable, compounds and the final product. There are different companies that uh, try to make an impact and create new materials, biodegradable materials, compostable materials. But unfortunately, there is a lot of greenwashing happening as well. Uh, there are companies that they use this terminology as a uh, means of marketing and try to sell some products. They claim that their products are compostable products without any certification. 14 years ago, when I started this journey, things are very limited. There was very small amount of variety on, for biodegradable compostable material. The technology was not there and consumer awareness was not there. It was uh, an uphill battle for me to go through this. I'm very happy at this moment because our material science has delivered a lot of new materials and compounds that they are compostable and biodegradable. The manufacturing process has been improved a lot to handle those. Consumer awareness is exists right now. So all the ingredients that we need to make this industry successful is here. But we have some challenges remain. We have to address the recovery system. Once the recovery system become uniform and standard globally, then industries, multinationals, Fortune 500s would go and start changing the, the products, the packaging, because they know there is an outlet that they can send the product at the end of the life of the product. And therefore, the effect is large and we can convert a lot of the plastic uh, products in future to this. And we can prevent the disaster and toxicity of our oceans and lands. At 3E, we are very happy and proud to contribute to this cause and be part of it.